Today we're going to cover how to use SSH public key authentication in Tenable.io. We will need a public private key to start and then I'll show you how to apply that key to the credentials store and ultimately apply it to a scan. Let's start by validating that key against a known system that I have for that user. So the string I'll use off of my Linux platform is ssh-i, which calls for the private key, uh, the user I'm going to authenticate against at the host that I'm going to authenticate against. So let's validate that. We'll see that we've been successfully logged into the terminal. Um, so now that we've validated, I can, I can ex exit from the screen and I'm going to navigate to settings and credentials, add a new credential, navigate down to SSH, we want to give an arbitrary friendly name, SSH user can be, this should probably match the user that you're going to use. We want to select public key. Before we can change this username, we need to add a file. So this is the public key that I'm going to use, that I've used to validate against using that private key earlier against the system we tested. And once I do that, you'll see that I can change the username. And then I, if you have a passphrase that locks the private key, we'll want to enter that. And any escalation privileges you want to define with sudo, typically they are the same user that you're logged in with and its password or escalation password. So we'll create that user. And now we see that the new SSH user, SSH credential is now stored in the Tenable IO credential store. When we go to open up a new scan or an existing scan, we go to advanced scan. Under a new scan, we'll go to credentials, add credentials, manage credentials, and we'll see the SSH user that we've just created. So that's, so we can add that to a scan. And of course, as long as we enter a name and all the properties, we can save this. Let's uh, home that, let's save this. What I wanted to point out is we can also apply SSH keys manually. Instead of using the credentialed store, we can also define the user or credentials on a per scan or per policy basis. So if we add credentials, we saw I can select from managed credentials or under host, I can add SSH with the public key mechanism the same way. And of course, here I can define a little bit more by the communication port, even the client version of SSH. <laughs>